right, T. I'm watching this video. Robin Williams, Lewy Body Dementia Autopsy by Dr. Richard Shepard. Video by Free Bob Company. Five years ago. Now, in this bit, which I've gone back to the beginning of, the doctor says that uh, Lewy Body is a protein buildup in the brain cells. That sparked me to remember something about a fellow I once worked with who did LSD. He had a similar problem. He had a buildup of excess proteins that couldn't be properly processed within the body. This fellow I worked with, however, didn't have it build up in his brain. It went down to his ankles. He actually showed me, and when I felt of it, his ankle, I told him, Dude, you feel like one of those Stretch Armstrongs. What the fuck is that? He knew exactly what it was. He told me, yeah, because I dropped that LSD, it caused a protein problem. So, these... Heavy, heavily, not heavy, these heavily purified and manufactured chemical compounds are causing those long-term effects. Now, I'm suspicious as to the, the pathology of the situation and the uh, symptomatic progression as well. I hypothesize that the problem is in certain genetic profiles and it's not widespread because certain people have different toxin immunity levels. Certain people are genetically disposed as in the disposition, I'm butchering the fucking English language. Back on track, certain people are genetically predisposed to have resistances and tolerances higher than others. For example, in a culture that drinks a lot, Germany, Ireland, some parts of America, you've got people who have built up a tolerance to the, um, the, the alcohol, because I forgot the actual chemical name. These drugs, these heavily refined chemical substances aren't the problem. These people are turning to these things because of the immense amount of social and, well, what's the other word? Not environmental. Various forms of stress that people bring to them. In Robin's Williams, Robin Williams' case, it was most of his entire life. He lost a friend to a drug overdose who he was partying with the night before. His parents didn't make time to spend with him because they were career driven. So he was alone as a child. That builds up emotional and psychological abuses and stresses that are carried with you throughout your whole life. Even if you develop psychological, mental, emotional, and spiritual tools to deal with them. And when I say spiritual, I'm not talking about religion. That's a whole different subject matter. And quite outside the scope of this video. Because that stress is there, it shapes a person's 
focus which determines their reality. Well, I didn't even bother asking the fellow I worked with if he had problems at home, but from what I could see when I visited him, his parents were very similar to the disposition that Robin Williams got stuck with. Parents didn't spend time with him, didn't make time for him. From what limited perspective I have of that fellow I worked with. And from statistics alone, you can extrapolate that so many people are having the similar problem. The problem is stress. And you humans, you seem to relish in how much stress you can pile onto other people around you. And it makes sense, because the dimension of reality that you're stuck in is hell. You're here because... You were corrupt in your past lives, and you've been sentenced to hell. I'm here because, well, you've been making problems that have spread further than hell. And a number of other problems have arisen. But anyway, that points outside the scope of this video as well. The point is, stop adding stress to people's lives around you just because you're in an amount of stress or your parents dumped it on you. It doesn't have to be all you know. It doesn't have to be a way of life for you. You hear that, Vittable? Quit being a little bitch. I decided to throw in some personal vendetta against you. And from time to time, periodically, I'm just going to keep grinding it in. Oh. I almost forgot. The most problematic generators of stress throughout all of humanity. The world managers, the bureaucraties, the corporatocracies, CEOs, people who own everything and think they can get away with anything they want. This video is about stress, not a disease which came from a chemical imbalance created from massive drug use. But the stress that sparked that drug use to escape the stress and the horrors that you, humanity, have created for yourselves. Just another thing to think about. Your focus determines your reality. Whether you consciously realize it or not, you have the ability to change. At first, it'll seem difficult to change your focus and change your psychological standpoint of how you view the world around you. But with enough uh, shifting gears, as it were, it becomes easier with practice. So, make an exercise. I've already made a video previously outlining how to start analyzing yourself and see where you stand as far as your viewpoint on reality. So start shifting those gears. No, oh, don't do it too quickly. That'll fuck you up. But as long as you're making effort, that's what counts.